Let's go to Periscope. Close. What's going on, everybody? What is up out there? I know I'm already on this. I don't know what that means. Producer. All right. Preview. Accept Super Arts. We'll refresh the chats, guys. There we go. There we go. Go live. Should be good there. Make sure we're getting everybody involved that wants to be. I'm going live on most of the most of the things. <laughs> let's see. Let's hit here. View profile. I understand. All right, drawing the Joker. We're now live here. Mute that. Right. I wonder why it doesn't clear the. This is a test of the chat. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, that's working fine. Hello from Twitter. Does it come through? It does over there, but not. Or does it in the multi stream? No, it does not. All right. It should work here in a second. <clears throat> awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I'm gonna grab my cool grabber deal. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. <laughs> this little guy, let's see what he can do. Maybe bring it like this. Alright, Christmas came early for me, I guess. Let's bring this over. Is that going to be too much in my face? Should be alright. Let's go here. Either be that, or I could do a Harley Quinn. I know I've told everybody Joker so far. Let's see. Let's go here. And let's choose to go live. If I can figure out how to operate Instagram. Boom. Let's go live. All right. That grabs right there. I hit that. I don't know. I don't think it'll be too much in the way. Of course, reading the comments might be kind of difficult. I could have it grab from up here. Let's give it a try. Or from the side. Blamo, don't drop the phone. There we go. Just flip it around. This might actually work. Like it was meant to. Witta. Witta. There, and then grab it. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Will it look upside down? Depends on how I do it. Let's see. Need this to be like right there, which means this has to be like 
like that. Put it down a little bit. Okay, this can this can work. Almost there. Let's go like this. There we go. Put the light over here. <laughs> it's a little discombobulated, but it's not the worst plan I've ever had. There. I don't feel like that's too much in my way. Maybe a touch, but not like the end of the world in my way. There we go. Let's give it a roll. Boop. There, now this is there. We're live everywhere. Sweet. What's up guys? So I've started doing this new style of drawing and I'm gonna go ahead and go live and uh, well I am live so here I am. Wow just gotta bend this a little bit more out of my way. There we go. It's not too bad. There. It's a little bit angled. There we go. So I'm gonna do a, a joker piece in kind of like this style right here. Um, and yeah, I guess that's up there a little bit. Ah, it's all right. Anyway, I'm trying to go ahead and do multiple inputs. I hope I don't regret this. I don't think I will. There we go. There we go. That's a better grip. Yeah, keep this out of my way and make it so that the chat doesn't cover the artwork. It's about as good as I can get it right now. And I'm happy with that. So without further ado, let's get rolling on this. So I'm doing a new style. I'm using this brown paper. And uh, it's really cool. Uh, some of what I've been able to create, something like this. Um, and um, I'm really excited about the possibilities with this brown paper. It's just really fun to create on. And I'm doing, uh, keeping a sketchbook and this is my kind of head study going on right now. So along with this head study, I think, I thought this would be a good color combination for like, honestly, probably Harley Quinn possibly like a joker piece or something. So for fun, as I keep doing these head studies, keeping this, uh, hey, Rachel Jones, how's it going? Uh, let's give some waves out to everybody. Woo! <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna walk through how I treat, um, uh, just keep giving those waves, just waving to everybody. <laughs> how I treat doing a basically a drawing of a head. So this is actually marker, uh, a pen, which is really, really awesome um, to use. It's a Pentel pen. It's a very specific pen. I hope I didn't lose it. I'm looking everywhere. Here it is. It's this Pentel. This is what I want for Christmas. This is all I want for Christmas. Uh, get it to focus. Anyway, Pentel from Japan. It's a ink brush pen. And uh, I really love it. It is, it's a great, great pen to use. Anyway, uh, so I've been using it on this kind of style along with this fountain pen that I'm using. And I'm just like, it's a, it's a Pilot Varsity pen. So it's kind of a fake fountain pen. Gives it the same feel. Um, but anyway, this is, this is a technique that I've been starting to employ into everything I do. I still start with a pencil, not always, but I will today. And uh, I use this mechanical pencil here. 
And so all I'm doing is I'm just going to, I'm just giving all the waves. Here we go, another wave. Just waving. Hey, let's get these waves going. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through, I mean, pretty fast. This one took me, I think, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, doing like uh, a little Joker piece. I think Harley Quinn would be good too. But um, just with all these different head studies and stuff I've been doing. Uh, I'm live on YouTube. I'm live over on Periscope. What's up over there with uh, <laughs> some of the people joining me there. And then on Twitch as well. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do this all the time on Instagram. I pounded Instagram with my whole Christmas art series that went really, really well, by the way. Thank you to all of those of you. We sold out. Everybody who participated in that, that was really cool. And, uh, oh, I'm using this paper, by the way, because the inks do bleed through. And so it's just a precaution. It'll bleed through a little bit. But anyway. But I still draw. I draw to keep myself loose and also tight at the same time. You know, like, uh, gets me warmed up, so to speak. And then it also gives me a chance to, um, uh, uh, hone in on certain techniques and stuff that I'll do. So right now I'm just going to look up a few Joker references. I'm now noticing that this thing is bouncing a lot and I apologize for that. I'll secure it to a different part of the table next time. Right now, every time I touch the table, it's shaking and that's got to be annoying. So I do apologize. But this new clip that I got, which you can see if you're on Twitch or YouTube over there, this new clip's really nice and handy. It's just a, a, a steady arm uh, that just grabs onto the surface of pretty much anything. And it's not like a tripod. And I always kick the legs of the tripod. They're always in the way. Uh, I can never really get something positioned where I want it to be, like how it is right now. So anyway, um, let's just go Joker. I won't be bumping the screen as much here in a second so let's see my favorite joker was heath ledger uh there are a lot of people obviously liking a lot of different joker jokers um uh personally i'm more of a i, I do like heath ledger a lot but there's some other options so I want to see what we can come up with. So a lot of what's online and everything is obviously going to be, I think, from the most recent Joker. He's got a really interesting head. <laughs> and that's why I think he actually be a really good reference sorry i didn't have one ready i kind of changed my mind last second to do joker and now i'm like did i do the right thing although this is a really cool reference right here i do like this one maybe i'll do that uh let's see now uh over on instagram or anywhere if you have a suggestion or you want to see something drawn or painted I don't always do this, but um, if you're interested in seeing something done, comment. Let me know, you know, uh, something that you might like. Uh, you know, when I'm in this mode, it's a great time to ask because right now all I'm doing is just figuring out what I'm going to do. And sometimes somebody has a cool inspiration. Okay, I got one. I got a really cool moody. I like moody. I'm an artist. So I'm going to like things that have a little mood to them. Of course, here we go. I think I got this one, but when I get rolling, sometimes I'll do a couple headshots in a row. I think I found what I'm going to utilize today. All right, let's see. Boom. I like it. So as I say, most of the time I start off with my basic shapes, which just means I'm going to uh, hone in on what I think I'm seeing as far as basic head and face shapes. All I mean is the nose, the eyeballs, these are all like basic shapes that we use every day, right? So that's what I'm going to do. 
it's not a teaching lesson, by the way. I mean, you can take it as teaching, but um, it will definitely have its own feel to it. Uh, yes, I am on Facebook. It should be under, uh, let's see, let's move this up. Sorry, I think it's fallen a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So you guys can be sure to see it all. Boom. You can see I've got my drawers here. Sorry if, there we go. All right, uh, yes, I'm on Facebook. You can look me up over there as well. Joe Everson Art should take you there. You know, look for my bearded face or my singing picture. And uh, <laughs> picture of me singing, that should be pretty obvious um, that it's me. But um, you're also welcome to, so I'm not live on Facebook right now, but if you want to see a fuller image of what's going on and see the chat and everything, you can come over to Twitch or YouTube. Or if you would, uh, if you want to, you can go to Periscope. All right, so let's do this. Enough talking, right? I'm going to use really quick for those of you who just joined. This is the direction we're going, right? So this is uh, kind of the example of the the technique I'm going to use for the Joker. These are it's all pen, so there's no painting involved. It's a quick, loose idea. It's almost a thumbnail. Okay, so here we go. Basic head shape is the key. Man, this thing is just a little bit in my way. One more adjustment, I promise, and then I'm done. Okay, and then bend this way. Oh, look at that, that's cool. There we go. It'll be a little bit, little bit different, but now it's not right in my eyeballs. All right, here we go. So I don't even care, I'm just making the shape. So here's a basic, basic head shape. Like I can mess this up all day. I just want to start. Here's the top. Here's where my hair is going to start, the crown. So I know that my eyes are going to be somewhere in here. Now he's looking down a little bit for this. I want it to be moody. And then I know that some hair action happens out here. See what I mean by basic shapes? I mean, we're talking really basic. And then boom, boom. Something's going to happen over here. There we go. Um, let's just kind of cut this across. And then all I'm doing is kind of marking distances and, and locations. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not saying you have to do it my way. You know, and I've learned most of the, they aren't even my way. Okay, I've learned a lot of this stuff just from other things from practice and from honestly stealing it. <laughs> Wasn't it Picasso that said great artists steal? Anyway, um, so you're going to figure out, I could be wrong about that quote, but I'm pretty sure it was Picasso. Now I'm just gonna block in these shapes as a very, you know, like I'm just gonna just give it some value right away. This might be a little bit different from a lot of people, but this is what I'm gonna do. And it allows me to start seeing that face right away. How's everybody doing over on Twitch, by the way, and Periscope? You can talk to me too over there. I'm talking as if I'm on Instagram because I've got the phone on a separate feed. I think the nose needs to move down a little bit, so I'm gonna do that now. And then the forehead kind of comes up like this, right? And you've got this plane and then a plane changed out here. So I'm I'm forcing the issue by kind of reinforcing it. By actually marking and giving what's called line weight and value could be another way of thinking about it. Um, So I'm gonna lean more towards a Heath Ledger, you know, version of him. I love that movie, The Dark Knight, I believe it's called, um, if I'm not mistaken. I, I really thought, and you know, be, feel free to tell me your thoughts on it. 
Lauren Blackheart, what's up? And Dingo. Thaden, no. What's up? I don't know if I said that right. But welcome. Uh, I'm going to use a really specific technique today that's going to involve markers and something new. Just giving away all my secrets. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I don't, I don't mind giving away what I'm going to give away today. I don't think it'll be extremely mind blowing. There we go. Hey, other Klein joined us. Again, I know you've been watching earlier. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so I'm not going to do this on as much of a regular basis as I had before throughout the other months. Um, not yet. I've got another thing brewing uh, that will have more to do with painting. Um, but, however, it was such a great success. I'm just giving it a little break. Um, I did want to come on really quick and show everybody kind of a practice you know, this is what I do to stay sharp in my art skills. Um, you know, I kind of rehearse things. It's really almost a meditative kind of thing uh, to do something like this. It keeps me sane as an artist and knowing that I, I have some, some skills to utilize for things like paintings, which I have on my palette over here and everything else. So, yeah. Uh, Rachel, what time of day is your favorite time to create? Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's probably pretty obvious, but I like creating really late. Um, it comes with some disadvantages too, but typically there's almost a 0% chance of being interrupted or anything kind of wacky happening. I mean, it could be as, you know, even though my studio is at home and I'm accessible to the family and everything else, um, Honestly, that's not really my number one issue usually. I thought it would be. It's more like the mailman. It's like stuff like that that kind of happens. Uh, you know, just the random daily life stuff. You know, the phone calls from the credit card companies. <laughs> All that kind of stuff, right? That That is... And usually they don't call at 1 a.m., or anything like that so there we go now I want to really get that that smile going up this way see how fast we got the basic head shape in and I'm just I'm just relaxed I'm not trying to force I'm not in here like this right like doing detail I'm just putting the value down yeah what about you Rachel when you do have the time <laughs> and the uh, ability to get doing doing some art when do you get time to do it still staying really loose I'm almost working everything with you can't see but I'm doing this with my elbow and that's how I'm creating some of these shapes. I'm just I'm just relaxed. Just letting it go. There we go. And then this way. What's up? In decent music labs, what's going on? I know the visuals a little bit on an angle. I'm aware of that, and I do apologize that it's a little bit, probably slightly distorted. I have cameras up. If you want a really head-on shot, and just another heads up, a warning. I know some of you already heard this, but I uh, I'm gonna do most of my live drawings over on YouTube which is Joey Verson Art, and uh, if you got a Twitch account, I'm live on there right now as well. Um, everything operates off my Twitch account, and then I feed it to everything else, so I've got a nice layout and everything out there, so 
uh, definitely come check it out over there. I love this sharpener. I'm not an artist. Yes, you are. Or do something artsy. Yep. Love doing fun crafts in my preschool are very basic. <laughs> Lots of finger painting. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. That's fun. Also very much a Picasso thing. Is the, uh, is the ability to see like a child. You know, Picasso said something similar. I'll misquote him a little bit, but it basically like he spent his whole career, his whole life, basically trying to figure out how to paint as a child again. You know how a child sees everything very, very specific. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Dan Lyle's art joined. How you doing, Dan? friend of mine and fellow person I work with age client finger painting is art <laughs> you love watching other people create grew up watching the happy little trees I know yep oh speaking of where is it here you go He keeps me company over here on my desk. Yeah, so if you're just joining, this is really just about um, giving you a slight, a little sneak peek. Um, I'm, I've been telling everybody, by the way, that this will not be a, uh, uh, not an inconsistent thing, but this will not be a regular thing over on Instagram. But I wanted to let people know that if you do enjoy this, Rachel and others, um, you know, uh, Heather, uh, definitely come by, see, see if you'd be interested. You never know in getting a Twitch account or watching on YouTube. Uh, those two, I'm going to host my live streams a little bit more regularly over there. Um, drawing for me is, is like warming up on the piano before, you know, warming up your voice before the sonata, before the big, the big deal right so I've got a couple of pieces you can just see in here I finished three of my Beatles portraits and I've got to keep my my uh, my drawing skills even though I'm painting I've got to keep my drawing skills up to par so I thought I'd do a fun one I've been doing some head head drawings here and there here's another one in a certain style but it allows me to think about things in color sh shapes and patterns in ways that are very different than just straight up drawings. And it, it, it allows me to do the paintings in a certain way. And I thought I would, anyway, you know, it's basically my style um, of painting. So I thought I'd do a quick Heath Ledger kind of looking joker and remind myself about head shapes and, and everything, especially on the male head. And allows me to kind of keep things together. You like that that Bob Ross, right? <laughs> I know you do. Oh, Valor Queen over on on Twitch. What's up? And we got a want to eat <laughs> something 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 over on Periscope. What's up? Um, I know Periscope's having some changes, and everything's moving officially to Twitter. By the way, and yes, I'll move my some of my live streams over that way when the time comes. No way. I guess I forgot that. I always love it when he just start playing random songs. Yeah, I know. And he had still has that ability to just go kind of what I'm trying to do right now honestly I think this needs to be lower there we go 
it's it's the yeah improv and and the relaxed you know experimentation of color you know there's color in music that's how we get all the different sounds we get any anybody know what that's called in music theory color what is that called yep yeah the saxophone he could he could definitely go to town with the saxophone he's got some tests coming up by the way just talked to my mom about that it's a little bit heavy on my heart just thinking about it so prayers are much welcome and appreciated for him he is uh, nothing major has come up or anything as far as anything definite. It's just um, a lot of his numbers are kind of creeping up pretty high these days. And so... They, he's got like a MRI and some other stuff coming up. But yeah, speaking of color, when it comes to music and color, who... Who knows what that's called in music? Color. <clears throat> Alright, we're done with the pencil. Now it's pen time. Let's go to town. Artistry? Ooh, that's that's a cool word. That's not the that's not the official word, so to speak, but it's a great word. It's uh, you want me to tell tell you guys someone else with a. I want to give everybody a chance. Actually, I feel like Heather might know this too if she's still on. Pretty sure she was a music major. Or at least minor, I should say. That was assuming too much, I think. Too quickly. Love this pen so much. What would you say? I wasn't either. Oh, oh, you weren't either. Not even a minor. I swear you were taking uh, voice lessons or something, weren't you? I'm just sitting here racking my brain. Okay, well, you gotta tell. I'll tell you. If you give up, you give up. <laughs> Elementary education. Um, okay, so it was called timbre. Timbre was color. love this brush pen look at that just let me do what I want to do with it once you get a feel for it then it, it just covers a lot of area if you want and then you just kind of ease up when you don't want it ah, I didn't really like that shape though I just did Urgh. now we can cut in uh, was just in choir, orchestra, enjoyed singing though. Awesome. Okay. Would never have guessed that. Yeah. So timbre, like, you know, so color would be like, you know, any instrument, well, pretty much any instrument could play, you know, a C, a middle C, let's say, 
but the sound that it makes, the color that you hear, it's called the timbre. So like a flute, you recognize the sound of a flute based on what you know the flute to sound like. And that sound that you are so sure is a flute, for instance, is actually called timbre. You know, it sounds very different from like a tuba playing the same note, for instance. Or even a piano, which is technically a percussive instrument. Would have never yeah <laughs> what's up jay finnegan j dot finnegan how's it going we're just talking whatever we're talking music we're talking art life <clears throat> hey valor queen that's okay valor queen is a regular she helps me moderate over on twitch twitch has been a little bit quiet the uh, past few days i haven't been on very regularly uh, doing lives and, and don't plan on doing it as hardcore as I had been before but uh, recently I am I am thinking through and figuring out with our team over here what our next move is for a couple of ideas on the docket so to speak so um, with all that but I thought even you know even with these little rehearsals that I do with myself, these practices, I'd go on. As I wrap, oh, you're wrapping Christmas gifts, awesome. Or as it happens, love watching it come alive. Haha. <laughs> yes, uh, they do. They are actually all quite gifted I would say one of them well all of them are very motivated in different ways and I think my second born is most like me extremely passionate in his process um, my oldest is a little more technical in his process yeah you know what? I know what you mean, by the way, Heather, uh, with how things uh, seem to be almost wrong and then they kind of come together. Uh, that would happen with, you know, Bob Ross was probably a really, how do you put it? Um, Bob Ross would be like <laughs> a really <sighs> quick way of seeing it happen. And that's what made, I think, his show popular amongst other things. But um, I think made it work in a certain way because you would see a technique and boom there's a mountain right like instantly I love this loose feel see this is this is what I'm talking about this is good for me when I go in with the brush later and produce a headshot. I gotta know, uh, produce a head, portrait, whatever. Um, I, I gotta have that confidence to just move that kind of freely. It, it, it loosens up, you know, all this technical jargon that really I think you lose yourself as an artist when you get too technical. Nothing against anybody who likes to be really technical with their artwork. I just, feel like your voice goes away because you just created something that looks exactly like a photo or another image or exactly what's in front of you and there's nothing wrong with realism I don't mean it like that even just um, I feel like you kind of tend to lose what you're really actually trying to say as a person you're like tamping it down and that's like the whole point of art I think 
Most of the time. <laughs> Not all the time. You know, say something. Let's see. Victor, thanks for joining. Hannah, hey, how are you? Hannah Verified joined. Ah, uh, let's see. Yes, as a kid, I almost panicked. I was certain he'd ruin the painting, and then bam, he fixed it. <laughs> yep. Honestly, it's a little bit at the core of my performance stuff, too. I would try to keep a little bit of a surprise. I can't do it to every piece, um, or haven't, I've chosen not to, um, you know, quite the same way, but. But it is very similar in how it feels. There we go. It's pretty good. I think I want a more menacing brow here. There we go, that's better. This one's really good. Nice and dark. Post some of the kids' art. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. For sure. There we go. Alright, let's let's play with markers here. Let's see what we can do. Sorry, a little false alarm. A little bit more. <clears throat> Wonder Kid, 58, thanks for joining. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, that'd be fun, though, post some of that. Some of their art, sure. Here comes that shading. She's gonna use a lot of black here. Good thing this ink is cheap. Loose. Stay loose. There we go. There we go. Alright, now I'm just gonna make some colors. Well first let's let's go ahead and erase it. Erase what I need to erase out of the pencil. This has to dry. But this can all be very loose. There we go. Ah, yes, I know. What's up, Alec? Stephanie, how are you? And Liblaw. What's going on? Just doing a, a warm-up Joker drawing here. Uh, I'm going to send out a little chat over here. done with let's see with the ink stage there we go let's add color I like to think about things in blocks of space as much as possible it simplifies the whole process if you have to think about oh I got to draw every hair you know that's that's not very good that's here, let's bring this over so you guys can see it a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Um, that would be overwhelming to attack right from the get-go, I think. Um, and not at all the point. Oh, I'm just going to shake you guys to death. I'm sorry. I'll try to go 
delicate here. This paper does tend to soak it up pretty well. Like this is already almost dry. So I'm going to use the color, like I was talking about, in kind of like block form, and whoops, and um, really make this whole thing come together. So a lot of the shading and detail will actually be a result of where I let the color block stop. And I'll show you what I mean once I finish erasing most of the pencil here. I don't always erase all the pencil, but. Um, in this case, I find it to be a, a good thing. So there we go. Okay, you guys don't have to bounce around anymore. I'll attach this gimmick to the table over here later. Let's see. Ah, oh, my neck hurts. Okay, so we're done with the pen. We're done with that. We got it inked. I'm gonna move this over. Now we're gonna play with color. So, I know green could be a very powerful. Let's use, okay, we're gonna start with a red pink, really. We're gonna go to vivid pink, believe it or not. And then we'll go into red. But this is usually pretty strong. And I'm gonna use it blocked in just like this. This is the fun part. What's up, Jess? I'm gonna wave to you. Boom, you gotta wave. All right, so let's just, let's just put color down like, like I don't even care. Almost, All right? Just filling some of this stuff in. Just like that. Boom. And I'm gonna leave that alone. Anywhere else, I think that actually does it, but I'm gonna go ahead, well, I gotta leave that to green, I think. Kinda do this. Really make sure it's strong. You know, kind of a really poppy looking thing. See. All right. Hey, have a good one. Thanks for chatting. So if you're just joining me, you're catching me in a process of me kind of like practicing, getting warmed up. This is the panic part. <laughs> yeah, you're scared right now, right? What's happening? Now we're going to move to, let's go Camilla Red. Yeah. Let's just, let's give him some. Yo, Snow, MZ3 Coop, what's up? Thanks for joining me over here. I am doing a warm up head drawing of the Joker. I couldn't help myself. I gave in to my comic world. Had to do a Joker piece. Snow. <laughs> May even add in, yeah, a little bit of red over here. There we go. Yeah. So um, I was doing some headshot type drawings portraits and thought hey Joker would look really good with this so I have given into the dark side and I want to create a cool Joker piece so here I am just 
doing my thing. Um, the, the point of this though, honestly, is to keep everything really loose and somewhat tight in other ways, just meaning uh, just like anyone would practice what they do, I have to do that from time to time as well, right? And make sure I am ready to complete the rest of my mission for the day. And sometimes this is the best way to do that. I don't want to add any more of that. All right, let's see. Let's get into the green. I'm really nervous, though. Green is not going to show up on here like I want it to, I don't think. Uh, oh, well. I'm going to give it a shot. This is the scary part. If I ever was scared. This would be it. All right, so I need my brightest green. Because the page is so brown, I don't know how strong... That's not that bad, actually. That might be the color. Then I have vivid green. Ooh, yeah, so that's my darker. All right, I take it back. I think the greens are going to be just fine. <laughs> MZ3 Coop. All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's go to town, man. Let's let's create just blocks of color. I'm not, I'm not going to try to reinvent every hair everything I see I'm just I'm just here to play a little bit and to imply what I'm seeing that's art man that's what I think art is I'd say this is working you know, I've got a darker surface that I'm dealing with, which gives me space to change some things. And I'm gonna show you how, for those of you who stick around through it. It's really quite a cool process. Uh, by the way, little announcement. I'm going to be doing most of my lives. This is kind of a, a nice little plug, if you will. And uh, it's a shameless plug. Uh, I will. I will say. I, I feel no regrets for this. But anyway, it's a plug for me uh, in working primarily, uh, primarily on Twitch and YouTube. So just a heads up. A lot of what I'm going to be doing. If you enjoy seeing this, I get it. You know, you watch what you watch. I like Instagram for certain things. I like, you know, I'm like barely on Facebook, honestly, <laughs> anymore. Uh, but I do a lot of business on Facebook and checking in with a lot of my fans that way and whatnot um, on a different level. And that's good. That's where, that's where it belongs. But for the Instagrammers who are listening right now, that's where I'm at. Oh, speaking of, let's see, Aunt Sal, what's up over on Periscope, of all things? Thanks for joining just doing a little Joker piece, as you can see. And Valor Queen over on Twitch, out of game. The new gamer friend left to go do carries in the game stream. Okay, cool. Yep, you got to have that help, right? Get some carries done. That's nice of him to do that. I, ne I never like had the opportunity nor necessarily tried to do it but get a carry in that format but anyway so yeah i'm just letting people know based off of this live that i'm doing right now in the future if you'd like to see more of this come by at least youtube but twitch is a really good one so yeah i got you valor totally cool all right let's try this green this should be a more green green as opposed to this like olivey bright which works in the hair tristan what's up thanks for joining you're catching me doing a little warm-up piece of the joker himself just a loose rendition of him i like 
I personally really do like the Heath Ledger Joker a lot. I'm pretty sure it's my favorite. Um, which is already kind of a popular answer. I understand that. Just based on history and how everything went down with him and the, the story. But I really do actually think that he played... He was my favorite Joker. Favorite Joker voice, however, would have been... Um, a voice actor it would definitely have been Mark Hamill. What about you guys? I need to commit this guy to memory. There we go. There's a couple areas. Whoops, that should be darker. Over here. Yeah, so all that that I was saying earlier, you know, I want to let people know because I know that there are a few people who are like, oh yeah, Joe's on. I'm totally going to catch it. But heads up, a lot of that's going to be moving over to, I mean, it already has moved over to Twitch, YouTube are the big ones. They're going to duke it out, Twitch and YouTube for me. I'm going to see which one's best. And then I'm probably going to pick one that I pretty much stick with for most of my sketches and just daily work like this. I'll fill that gap in. Hey, Snow, you should join. Uh... Oh, now Cindy popped over here. Never mind. <laughs> I was just about to say you should go join because uh, Valor Queen was probably pretty lonely over on Twitch just at the moment. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's get into some of the blues. I was using baby blue the other day. Let's change it to pastel blue. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Hello, Cindy. Welcome. Basically, I feel like I'm putting Heath Ledger in with the, uh, I don't know, the look and feel, the stylizing of like Suicide Squad or something. Kind of like a what if. There's uh, this is a fairly famous pose right here, but. All right, now I feel like I've gotten too way too easy on everything. I need to be, I need to be really mean with this. What do I do? Let's do, on all the other ones, I do like this red block. Let's do like a blue block on this side. And let's get really strong with it. Cerulean blue is pretty powerful. Ah, oh, when you do decide to stream like on here, then YouTube would be a great place to keep videos. Work there because here it doesn't archive. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Thanks, Valor. Yep, keep the videos archived over on YouTube. It's not a bad idea. Probably where I will keep it. Um, let's just like, all I want to do is just create a nice little block. We're going to start small and then fill it in until I'm happy. And this went way darker than I thought it would.
So let's bring this down. Until it almost hits the shoulder. That's pretty cool. I like that. Billy, what's going on? Let's see. I believe the videos here only stay for a short time. Yeah. The Joker does have this demented feel, doesn't he? He is his own thing. Paper dries so fast. There we go. I like that breaking up like that. And kind of just creating this like. There we go. There. That gives it dimension, right? Okay, you're good. Now let's use an even darker blue, Indian blue, for in here. At least I thought it was going to be darker. There you go. Now, I really like using lavender for kind of a, yeah, totally, totally true. By the way, Valor Queen, uh, she mentioned over on Twitch, uh, the Joker is always an interesting and demented character. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, Geo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Now, I'm going to use this. Lavender to do some shading. Create a little bit of depth. It's a great mid tone. goes well with the suit. Oh, I love the bright colors. Very cool. Yeah, they're fun, right? Really making it pop like crazy. That's cool. It's amazing how white this looks, and it's like a super dark. So just wait till I start using actual white. And everything comes to life right then. It's crazy. Go 
crazy. This is a great half tone basically. For the lavender does work really well. It's kind of a in between and extending a lot of the deep creases and the head and all those things. I'm noticing it works really well. There we go. Hey, Steve nine 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 zero, welcome. Wait, is that Josie? Jose, is that you? Have you joined me? I was thinking of you while I did this piece. <laughs> there we go. Nice. All right. So now we're going to bring in a little bit more pen work into the equation again. There we go. All right, you guys ready to see the explosion of color happen here? Not the explosion of color, but the the beauty of what you can do with highlight. Let's see though. Um, is there anything else that's missing though? Yeah, let's play with this really quick. Ugh. Darken this up. Shadows going there. The ice blue look like. Oh, I like ice blue. It's a little bit darker. All right, there we go. Boom. Ah, details. Can't spell. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna get out the white ink pen. 
we're gonna let this really ride. We're gonna go for it. Am I getting messages right now? Sort of. Eleven degrees warmer tomorrow. Yes. What's up, Derek? How's it going? Welcome. You can actually find these pens anywhere pretty much, but it's just a jelly roll gel, white gel pen. There, there are much nicer pens, but I'm actually surprised with how easy and how much I like these for the embellishments I like to create on something like this. So that's why we chose, that's why I chose this brown paper. There we go. I am over on Twitch, Joe Everson Art. Uh, and YouTube. It is probably where most of my videos are gonna stay. Uh, as far as being able to watch it later, Twitch doesn't tend to keep the videos. I've heard that using like a red pen, like ballpoint, is also another way to create quite a bit of color if need be. I haven't tried that yet. But I think that would be really cool. All right, this thing's just bouncing everywhere. I really need to put it up somewhere else.
boom. There's our first practice right there. Yeah, the white makes it pop. It really brings it to alive. That's so true. It really brings everything together, Valor. All right. Well, I'm going to drop off of Instagram now. I might carry on over on Twitch and YouTube and Periscope. So thank you so much to all you on Instagram. I'm going to actually jump over to um, Twitch now. If you're looking for me or want to keep, keep up with me over there, I'll probably do one more headshot for the night. Um, definitely check me out. It's uh, Joe Everson Art over there and I'll finish up this guy uh, over there and all of that my phone is getting low on battery anyway so I've got to jump over but thank you so much to everybody who joined me over here I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a little bit of what I do got some great comments and stuff from some folks who enjoy that kind of part of the process so thank you thank you thank you and uh, we'll check in with you later uh, and I will see you all guys in the future. Thanks again for stopping by. Peace. All right, end the video. Uh, sure, we'll share it. We'll go over here. Next title. We'll figure that out later. I'll just put it like this and bring this down <clears throat> man what the? there we go get that out of the way well Valor here we are again now I'm adding in some deeper purples I like to use colors that go with their outfits um, subliminally in the shadows. So like the purple and green is obviously a pretty heavy theme for Joker. So I'm actually using purple with the black. And it, it shows. I mean in person I think it's even stronger. But um, it's really, really cool how much it'll actually pop sometimes and kind of secretly make you think about the Joker and whatnot. There we go. Boom. Come join us on the dark side of Twitch. see I think that went rather well I think that looks great I think that was well thought through well produced and uh, it was all basically free-handed obviously in there which is a lot of fun Next. Unable to load the effect. Whoops. may have just deleted my live. Dang it, I really wanted that to sit on there.
Let's see. Oh, it's all just gobbledygook. All right. Oh. Oh. Um. So after you finish a live session on Instagram, it gives you the option to then. Oh, you know what I need to do? It gives you the option to save it and keep it on your Instagram TV. And I navigated away from it and now I'm paying the price for it. So, ugh, it's annoying. Oh well. Um, oh, I got these new, well, I don't know if that's the way I wanna go with that. Ah. Ah. All right, one more head. Let's do one more. What do you say? You up for it, Valor Queen? I don't know. Or do I take a break now? Oh, my neck popped. Let's see. Let's see if we get inspired by something. I guess a Harley would go really well with it. Ah, <sighs> what should we draw today? What do you think? check on is my YouTube what do you guys want to see drawn or done I'm gonna ask the twitch people my Twitter people everybody else let's talk to them let's find out what they want to see in the process meantime something super artsy. play a little game what's Joe gonna draw that's true all right here we go oh it says I'm drawing John Lennon on YouTube right now uh, let's see that's all right
Quinn. Some poor soul who doesn't know better is going to think the Joker is John Lennon. <laughs> That's funny. That's so true. And now I'm going to think maybe Harley Quinn. You know what? Um... I think I want to do something more loose, more body, more maybe animal, something, something really just let go, something different. We'll save that for later. Let's do something new. Uh, something quick, but bursting with color. I don't know, something. Let's see. What do you think? What should I do it with? Oh, a uh, quick question for you, Valor. Is there a is there a way to uh, advertise on Twitch? Yeah, it is like writing a paper. I know. Should just like just keep the pencil moving and I'll be just fine. But um, is there a way to like advertise lives on Twitch that you know of? Oh, my neck is so messed up right now. I think it's from holding the paintbrush out in front of me all day today in a very different way. I was like kind of cockeyed. Yep, knowing how to start. How does he do it through Twitter? Just, just letting people know on Twitter, hey, I'm live, that kind of thing? I do always have it like automatically send a message to Twitter letting people know I'm on. I'll find something. We'll find something fun. I should probably just start looking at my own photography that I've done.
Oh, really? All good to know. I need a red pen. That's what I need. Let me see if I got one. Probably need to do another giveaway soon too. But I think I'm gonna wait till after Christmas to officially do anything like that yet. What? <laughs> Somebody give this man a red pen. Exactly. Well, I found these like other really cool jelly roll colors. Snow. Ah, I'm glad you joined us over here. Just brightened everything up for us. Ah, man, my neck is going nuts. Oh, I was going to do the Bridget Bardot. No. The other person. Was it Bridget? Twiggy. Twiggy would be cool, too. All right, first I'm just going to do my own thing. Just going to do it. I'll do that first. Something just inspired because I want to do it. Okay, that's what we're going to do first. Yes. Thank you for joining us on the dark side of the force. Alright, here we go. Screw it. Where's my pe pencil? Haha! <laughs> Alright, talk to me. What we got going on. Here we go. Yeah, okay, I got an idea. No, 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 no. Just gave me a new idea. Here we go. It's hitting me. It's hitting me. When this happens, you gotta go with it. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna do it. Let's go. Uh... Finding, finding, finding. See, this is when I would start using uh, 
start using um, photography, other figurative pieces, something, but anyway, you do what you do when you have to. All right, this is gonna be super loose, super just because. Boom, boom, insert photo. Let's try, let's do this like this. There we go. Boom. Oh, you know what? Ah, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. That's really hard. Do it without pencil. Oh, it's a challenge. Nope, not yet. <laughs> but I will go. I don't know if you guys can see it then though. Ah, that's all right. I think I'll just go like this. There we go. We'll zoom out a bit. Space, space, space. Boom. Oh, uh, let me brighten that up a little bit. Is that better? It's pretty sketchy right now anyway. Um, you'll see. Uh, as a matter of fact, I could probably use this guy. All gonna be about really letting go. Here we go.
Much better? Okay, awesome. Very cool. All right. There we go. All right. Now, now, um, ah, Simplify. Think, 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 think. I had a really clear vision. I don't want to lose it. Might need a lighter. Well, that doesn't help. It's just gonna be dumb. Wow, that's super pink. Holy cow, that's awesome. Holy. Super purple. I gotta find the rest of these. Goodness. Okay, I know what I need to do. Do I pick a color though? Oh, this is killing me. Do I do grayscale or color? Okay, I pick a color. I've decided I pick a color. What are you guys doing tomorrow? <laughs> Sounds like a, a kind of a crazy question, but Buying groceries. Nice, 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 nice. Right. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Should I go with blue, reds, or pink hues? Give me that, give me that. Staying home, nice. Blue, reds, or pink hues? What do I want? Go, give me it, go. Somebody hit me. Blue, reds, or pinks? I'm just gonna go with it. I just hate grocery shopping. <laughs> Blues, reds, or pinks? Blues. All right. Blues it is. Blues. Start with our lightest blue and move to our darkest. Here we go. This is happening. Uh, I swear he can't see all my text. Wait, what? I added blue. I swear he can't see all my text. LOL. Yep. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, yep, I messed up. <laughs> I know, sorry. No purples. Just only blues. Got the blues. I'm going to go darker blue. No, we're not. I'm not going to go dark blue. Now, we go back to the pen. I'm sorry. So we all said blue. That's cool. Glad I pay attention so well, right? Here we go.
So I want to create depth in a very different way with this process. Leave that alone. that one. Rhythm. Rhythm and rhyme and harmony. Believe in your song. <laughs> All right, that was good. We got to that stage. Now, 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 I need to get really dark. Maybe I should use purple now, though. Use the lavender. This is hard. I have a vision and it's calling for so many different things and it's bugging me right now. This is really hard. Super, super hard. I don't want there to be a ton of color in this. That wasn't the point. Honestly, the point is mostly use gray and then go off of there so I'm doing it I already did it don't stop me ballot queen don't stop me snow don't stop me. Somebody stop me. Okay, somebody stop me now. Oh, I've done so many things wrong. Yes, stop. <laughs> no, don't stop me. Right? I told you not to stop me. And then I said stop me. But don't stop me. Wait for it. Ugh. Battery low. Go away.
connecting shapes. Huh? Connecting shapes. You can't really see this that well, can you? Ah, it's not the worst. Could be worse, I guess. All right, um, anybody have a favorite show ever? I'm running out. I don't know about favorite, what's yours? Oh my gosh. I don't know. There were so many. It was The Office for a while. It was um, Breaking Bad was pretty cool. I like that one for a while. Like I got hooked on it and it just stressed me out <laughs> like crazy. Um, what else? All right, so it burned through that one. Oh, this, is just, this is just a one. Um, not sure past that. Now I'm going to accentuate a mistake and turn it into a point of interest. Because that would be the right thing to do.
Now what do you think? Is this turning moody? Huh? No? Yes? No? You guys still can't see it very well, can you? Like, it's hard to see the whole thing. Yes, it is. Thank you. Now we're going to use this crazy pink color, okay? just became our light. Please don't dry up on me. There's so much color in here. I want us to all feel a plethora of light emotions here. Come on. Don't tell me it's dried up. It can't dry up right now. There it goes. You're not allowed to dry up right now. So our eyes can be fooled into thinking certain colors are now taking the place of white and light. It's pretty cool how it happens actually. And that's what I'm doing with this pink. Even though it is really vibrant, it is legitimately acting like our light source. Now I'm going to zoom in. Focused all right? Yeah. Is it bright enough? Right there, right there. <laughs> this is so cool. I never thought jelly markers would be like 
something I'd be playing with so much. And on this level. Yeah, isn't that neat? Neat? Sound like my dad. That's so neat. It's a limited palette, and we're forcing the issue with the color again. see one spot that I really need to I wanted to avoid doing it but I don't think I can get around it that is basically coming up here of darkness. It's just not gonna, I'm not gonna like it unless I do. Oh, do I already need another cartridge? No. You can do it. That's better. Yeah, 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 I know, low battery. Don't actually want to cover this back up. Especially that side. crazy. Now I could add in the white. That'd be a whole nother effect. I really want that gap to go away.
is like a blue black, a bit different look. Definitely stronger. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. That's a really cool effect. It's it's hard to even pick up, I think, through the screen, through the video. Um, you know, fully what's actually happening here. I think it looks really sick. It feels somewhat unfinished still, but I don't know what else to do really, other than just make everything else, make all this pretty dark. It's the only thing bugging me. Maybe that's when I need to add in the Valor Queen purple. <laughs> Or like a splash of watercolor. It's a very different mood than that. Oh, I got an idea. I'll be right back. What? Haha. Hee hee. Ho ho. Let me grab some. Oh, great. I got these watercolor pens that I picked up. They might help me cover a lot. Pretty cool. Buy them. They're pretty vibrant, too. Let's see what color this is. It's almost, that is almost this color right here. I like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna let me do some cool stuff. All right, that's easy enough. Should I play with another like highlighter color? Probably dangerous, but I kind of feel like I want to. I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go.
just a ton of light play going on. All right, now time for the Valor Queen purple. There it is. So you get involved slightly. Before it totally dries, I'm going to move that over to this. not want anything to do with this I'm just like color throw up is happening right now all right let's see let's do I like learning, I like experimenting. I think it is what helps me grow the most. Honestly, I learn the most from my mistakes. So I think I found out I definitely don't want to do that over here. Let's go in here. These pens don't feed very quickly. But they can be used. They're just not, I don't know, they're different. They're different, different. go that paper does not like that but I did it anyway enjoyed it a little bit it's a really different process than I've ever done before so we learned new things I learned what tools I like best about what and I also figured out that using the jelly roll pens can create really cool highlights even on brown paper which absolutely blows my mind and uh, Honestly, I think that's one of the coolest things that I've found out so far. Hmm. Well, 
also don't like the yellow highlighter. I also found that out. But that's okay. It's popping like crazy, right? I think I'll call it. I think I'll call this done. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what just happened on this page. It's pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Its own rhythm and rhyme and reason I don't even know what it is but I had fun it was a blast yes <sighs> another one bites the dust or how poorly oh I think this did a good job of saving the next page there we go made it into the sketchbook that's all that matters for now um yeah 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 Oh, I think I should probably call it tonight. Probably see you guys tomorrow. Uh, will you be around during lunchtime-ish? Um, I know you guys will probably be busy, but any thoughts there? Yes, see you again soon. Maybe you'll be available. Okay. All right. I will probably jump on. I think I'm just going to go keep going Twitch. I'm going to keep pounding away. I don't want to keep grabbing um, any kind of Facebook help for a while. I think I've oversaturated that for a little bit with all the extra stuff going on. And I've got a lot to finish, so I'm not going to be hitting them very hardcore or anything um, but I do want to do another giveaway I think I want to promote it but try to keep it within its own platform for the most part um, but I need to get more people I want to pull more people into twitch I feel like that's probably the best spot um, for everything so anyway We'll see how I end up having to do that. I still have to wade through everything, you know, as far as that goes. Um, there's some stuff with me being able to keep my videos up, and I need to edit them. You know, give them t better titles, descriptions, even on the live ones. Um, edit them up so that they have cool cover photos and, like, what the whole stream was about and all that kind of stuff, which is just a lot of work. And, uh, well, it's, it's not like a ton of work. It's just a little bit busy. So it's like takes a little bit of time. So, um, yeah, I agree, Valor Queen. I think that would be something that would probably happen. Anyway. All right. So I got to think on that. Maybe I need to get someone who does that. <laughs> um, or someone who's willing to do that. So, uh. Yeah. So if anybody wants a assistant social media position, <laughs> no, I don't know. I gotta think about it, figure it out. Ooh, I just cracked my back like five times. Oh, that's all I had. All right. Well, thank you to everyone who joined me over here. I really appreciate it. Um, I've seen a couple people come and go on the other platforms, actually quite a few. 
uh, kind of swoop through. I think it's a little bit later now, obviously, and everything. So I really, really had a good time. Uh, check in with me later. And thank you so much for plugging away with me. This was a lot of fun. We did a couple of pieces that was like, what is happening? And we learned a lot. So thank you very much. January, thank you too. And uh, have a good night. And uh, Valor Queen, have a great night. Thanks for joining me on here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Take care. Sleep well.